Hi, this is Don from Wetflap. Here to talk a little bit about the Element Black Ops Fly Rod Kit setup and uh, how to get started in fly fishing. So, first and foremost, let's go over what's in the fly rod kit itself. We've got a four piece, nine foot, five weight fly rod. We've got a five weight fly reel. It comes with backing, floating line, and leader, ready to fish. We've got a fly box. It's waterproof, holds 95 flies, that's pretty cool. Uh, we've also got a heavy duty travel case, protects your rod during travel, like when you're on an airplane, it's in the back of a pickup truck, or it might be in your garage. Uh, we've also got a neoprene fly reel travel case. This is to protect the reel when it's off the rod. It can also be put on while it's on the rod when you're going between your fishing holes. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the fly rod. The fly rod is uh, carbon fiber. It's a progressive taper design. Uh, what that means is you can really throw nice, delicate, dry fly casts. Uh, you still have enough backbone to pull uh, nymphing rigs, and then you've got enough for weighted flies that, you know, like a streamer, things like that. So it's kind of an all around versatile fly rod. Uh, there's four segments. You're going to notice each segment because it's tapered, thick to thin is how you're going to want to put it together. There's alignment dots on each of these segments. You're going to kind of want to just push these two components together. Give it a kind of a snug, maybe a little twist to realign those dots. Um, I'm gonna kind of work this through uh, behind me here. This is gonna turn into a nine foot fly rod. Uh, so you're gonna wanna be around, you know, familiar with what your surrounding is. I happen to be in a house, so there's a ceiling fan, there's antlers. Definitely don't wanna bump into anything that's gonna damage the tip. Now that I've got this put together uh, with the alignment dots, another good way to double check is to kind of just look right down all the guides and make sure they all align. This looks pretty good to me. So let's talk a little bit about the, the real seat. So the real seat has a couple components here. This is gonna attach to the back of the fly real foot, which we'll cover here in a second. And then there's two locking nuts. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and attach this fly reel. Uh, how you make sure you're going to do it is a left hand retrieve is how it comes in the combo. Uh, if it's a right hand retrieve like I am, you're going to have to switch your fly reel to that. Super easy. You just have to flip the bearing. Uh, we'll cover that in a different episode, but for now, we're going to go ahead and set this up as a left hand retrieve. So I'm going to put the handle on the left side of the rod. I'm going to put the foot into the foot hole here. And then I'm going to take that back component that we just talked about, slide that over the back foot, and then those two locking nuts. I'm going to secure nice and snug. Not too tight, but I want it tight enough that the fly reel itself doesn't have any wobble because you're gonna go ahead and be casting and when you start to do that, it might you know, wobble a little bit later. You can always retighten it, but just wanna get that secure. Um, to get this lined up through all the guides, I'm gonna kind of step over here so we don't get tangled up in the box. I'm gonna pull out enough line that's pretty much about 10 or 15 feet. This is a nine foot fly rod, so um, I know that the leader is around seven, eight feet. Yeah, that looks like it's about 15 to 20. So I'm gonna go ahead, start to string each of these guides. Notice that I'm going to take the floating line, which is a little easier to grab than the clear line. Also gonna overlap it so that when you go up through each of these guides, uh, it helps to slide up. And then in the event I drop it, it's just gonna fall down and I don't have to go back to the bottom and start over. Um, this is inside a house, so my reel is pretty well protected on the floor. Uh, if you're outside, you want to be just aware of your surrounding with rocks, debris, things like that that could damage the reel. Um, and then just continue to bring up each of these guides with the floating line. And as you're doing that, you're going to want to walk up the actual rod itself away from the reel. Just kind of keep it in stationary. That way you can kind of keep track of what you're doing. As you're doing this, you just want to look back, make sure nothing's getting tangled up. and also double check that you've got every guide because I've done it a thousand times where you get everything all rigged up, you realize you missed the guide and then your casting seems weird and it's because one of the guides was missed when you were putting it up. Uh, I've got it through the last one. I'm gonna look back, everything looks like I got it. I'm gonna pull that loose in all the way through. And as I get it all the way through, I should see the clear line here in a second, which I do. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that all the way through. So 
So now I'm gonna walk back to the base of the rod with my line in hand. It's kind of running that line through. You kind of see what's happening. All the way back, all the way back. And again, just try not to tangle up the rod. Now I've got to the back of the actual line itself. I'm ready to rig up a fly. That's the big choice. Now you gotta decide, are you gonna dry fly fish? Are you gonna nymph fish? Are you gonna streamer fish? That's up to you. And there's a lot of techniques out there on different casts you can find on YouTube and things like that. Um, that's really it. This, you're good to go to fly fish. It's time to get out on the water.